So what was it though? Like what what made you feel like you wanted to like tap in with that, especially if you managed to avoid it through most of your teens? Well, just reality. You know what I'm saying? Uh, football wasn't really going right. Mm. My only friends I knew was his friends from the streets. Why wasn't football going right? You're a specimen, right? You're a big-ass dude. Now, <laughs> I was puny back then. I graduated high school at 17 years old. I mm. played my first college football game at 17. Okay. These guys, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, fully developed. So not only I'm young, but I'm also underdeveloped. I'm like puny. I'm like, I'm like 200 pounds. I'm mm. the same height I am now, but 120 pounds skinnier. Imagine that. Okay. So it's like... I wasn't going to NFL, but I had the heart. I, want, I really want to do it, though. Did you formally join a gang at some point? Yeah, 2004, 2003. Okay. Yeah. Who'd you choose? Oh, you have, 60s. That's you have a bunch it. of recruiters? Recruiters? I mean, that's just how I go. I mean, this, this is <laughs> how I go. I mean, you basically be hanging around. Everybody be from it. You know what I'm saying? All your friends, all your best friends be from it. And, like, man, you can't be hanging around. You, you, you got you to come to the hood, bro. You got you to catch your officials. Uh huh. That's just how Sad. I be. Got to. How many people were involved in this put on? Four. How long? Mm, it's probably like a minute each. So four minutes total. You got to take them on one by one. Yeah, back to back to back. And you're squabbling with them, so yeah. you could you you could have theoretically won, or is it a situation where they're not going to let you win? Uh, you're not nah, supposed to win. Nah, right? ain't no, well, you, no, you no, can't you, win. You, you, you're not really you really can't win, but yeah. if you if you look good, you be straight. Okay. If, you get, if, if it's if it's so bad, then you know you gotta. You might have to come back again. But if I crawl, if I curl up into a ball. Nah, you gotta come back. <laughs> oh, you gotta come back. <laughs> yeah, you gotta come back. I mean, I feel like if I gotta take my beating, then I gotta figure out how to survive this. Shit. I feel like curling up into a ball might be the move. The defense position. Huh? We've well, all been there where you're getting beat up by a bunch of guys and you got to just kind of turtle up at a certain well, point, right? it's not like a DP where you, you know. You hit you, this you, move, you, cover up the back of your head. You're supposed yeah, to get, you know. That's going to keep you alive. That's a good just, move. Yeah, that one right there. It ain't like a situation where you, you get in trouble. Okay. Where you're supposed to get like dp or something like that, you know what I'm saying? But Okay. And so then what, what becomes your life after that? And, and, and how long did you make it into the college football? I'm going to be real with you. I kind of like was smart with my situation. I wasn't like a person who was always hanging on the block putting in work every day since I was a little kid. I was doing something different. Like I said, I'm playing football. I'm going out of town. I'm going to college. Mm -hmm. I'll come back and be in the BS, but I'm gone next day. Mm -hmm. Even when I got done with that, I was like, you know, I guess I could say, I'm not incriminating myself, but going in and out of town, making money. Mm -hmm. So even with that, I wasn't on the block every day game bang. I was always doing something else. Mm -hmm. Even when I got done with the street life, I was boxing. Okay. In and out of town, in the gym, doing that stuff. So I was never just sitting in the in the hood on the block waiting for bullets and handcuffs. So was there a period of time between football and boxing where you were just hanging out in the neighborhood? No, never. You were hustling, though? Always hustling. Doing your thing, yeah. Yeah, always hustling. Like I said, I, I actually left college my junior year because I figured I wasn't going to go to the NFL to go back and make money. Mm -hmm. And make money. I, I never made money in my neighborhood. It was always somewhere else or another city or doing something different. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like I said, I was never just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Okay.